In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Facebook Meta Library to spy on your competitors' ads. If you're new here, my name is Armando, and I do online marketing for small businesses. And if that's something that you're interested in, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the strategies that I put out weekly. Now let's jump right into the Facebook Meta Library, formerly the Facebook Ads Library since Facebook's changed all of its tools, business names to Meta. This is now the Meta Library. And in order to get here, you can do it two ways. You can just simply uh, type in the Google search Facebook Ads Library and click on the link that takes you here. Or if you know the direct URL, which is facebook.com slash ads slash library, it'll bring you to the same spot uh, that you're looking at here. Now, the Meta Library is a place where Facebook pretty much archives and, and puts together all the active ads. Ads that are running um, right after 24 hours will probably show up here. That's usually the time frame, 24 hours before they can show up in the Meta Library. Uh, it's going to show you all the active ads from advertisers that are currently running uh, ads across Facebook's platforms. So it's a really good way to gauge what creatives are working. It's a really good way to spy on your competitors' copy, their offers, and even their ad structure. The only thing that it's not going to show you is uh, who their targeting is, who, who, who their target is, uh, demographic information, how much they're spending on the ad, etc. You can only do that uh, kind of stuff if you're looking at political ads, housing ads, credit repair ads, that kind of stuff. So let me show you how I use this. So the very first thing that I do is select my country. I'm in the U.S., so obviously I'm going to choose U.S. And then I go here and select a category. Um, now, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, if you're doing issues on election, housing, employment, or credit, the restrictive categories, the special categories, you'll be able to see ad spent on those, um, but you're not gonna be able to see ad spent on just your average, everyday local business ad. Uh, I, I always recommend just do the all ads in here. Uh, and what this will allow you to do now is to search by advertiser or search by keyword. My method of preference is keyword simply because I don't know all the advertisers that are out there you know running ads there's hundreds of thousands of advertisers running ads that I don't know about so let's say that we are doing window washing um, as our as our service and this is who we want to spy on so now we type in window washing here and Facebook has roughly more or less a thousand ads um, that are showing up in here with this term uh, window washing okay so one of the things that you'll notice is that it organizes everything by um, first scene so these are the ads January 6 7 you know January 26 uh, and then you keep going and I believe as as you go down some more um, you can kind of see the the age of the ads that are running so here's how I use this library here's how how I kind of recommend that you guys use this as well um, I usually have a spreadsheet that's got a bunch of columns and I write down the advertisers name so I'll say you know uh, view crew window services and I'll write it down and I'll write the name of the ad when it started running so January 6 this is when the ads running and I can look at the platform and say they're running across Facebook messenger uh, audience network um, and Instagram and then I'll look at their offer I'll look at what they're what they're saying in here I write that down and then I look at their creative they're using a video uh, I'll play it a little bit I'll see if the video has music um, if it's something that's engaging to me a bunch of stills uh, in here um, and then I can click here and see more details of the ad I like to see what they're doing are they sending um, are they running to messenger are they creating lead ads are they going straight to a landing page in this case if I click learn more it's going to a landing page and I can kind of see the landing page that this is going to so I also copy the landing page and put it in my spreadsheet and then I'll give it a rating I'll look at this and I'll say well this doesn't really it's not that great of a landing page okay it just says clear view changes everything which I don't know what that means at first glance um, there's no you know there's no immediate form to get a quote um, I have to kind of fish for a button so I'll look at this and I'll rate this ad uh, accordingly okay I'll then go to the next one and I'll see what these people are doing I'll look at this and I'll say okay this is more of a flyer a lot of text on this ad um, and primarily I'm looking for a few things number one uh, offer um, what kind of offer are they running that I can mimic or kind of create something around so uh, these guys are just you know straight up like hey we do window cleaning but there's no offer in here right uh, 24 uh, 24 page report on why your window should be clean not exactly something that I really want to 
to, to run, right? So I just keep looking and I want to see what, you know, what pops up, you know? I see a lot of pictures of like, you know, guys in here. Um, maybe these videos work, maybe they don't, but I take note of all this stuff that's in here. Um, one other thing that I look at is I like to filter by date. Uh, typically, not usually, but typically if an ad has been running for a long time, it's usually profitable because most people are not going to burn their budget and let that let an ad run for a very long period of time unless it's profitable. So one of the things that I do here is I go to filters and I select, um, you know, I select um, uh, platforms that I want and then I look at the date. So, for example, if I just want to look at Facebook platform, um, I will click on that and I will apply that filter and it's not going to show me ads that are running now on other networks only ads that show up on the Facebook platform as well uh, so I look at this um, and I'm looking through here and I see that some January 26 of uh, this year uh, and I look at others that are pretty pretty fairly new ads 27th um, I did see a few here that January 4th so it's been running for now four weeks uh, and this kind of piques my my interest a little bit, so I'll go ahead and I'll I'll click it. Even though this is like a graphic, it looks like it's a graphic. See, it's not it's not related to window washing or window cleaning. Uh, the Facebook Ads library, the Meta library, isn't a hundred percent accurate. Uh, it gives you an idea of what people are running. Um, I can look at these ads and I can say, well, none of these are are really great ads. None of these will will really catch my attention, at least not for me, maybe for somebody else, but not for me. Um, these are getting a little bit better here. Um, so if I click on that ad, um, it'll actually take me to that competitor's Facebook page. Um, but if I click on details, I can see what they're what they're doing here. So I can see exterior, soft wash, you know, window cleaning, soft solar panels, etc. Um, and it goes to a WhatsApp. Like I can, it's, this is a message, so I can I can tell that this is a WhatsApp uh, ad. Um, what I don't know is, you know, like I mentioned before, demographics. I don't know what the demographic is. So I would then write all this down, put it in the spreadsheet, and kind of compare which offer uh, creative um, and sort of ad structure looks, you know, really good or is the most common in here, so that I can kind of replicate that and get ideas around this. So. There's not a whole lot to this tool. Uh, it's a free tool. Uh, it's not always, you know, the best tool, but it is free and it does give you more insight than what you currently have um, running. Uh, it's a good way to compare creative. You can kind of look at this and say, oh man, I, you know, I've got pictures like this, or I guess I should create a short video that looks similar to this, or um, I've got copy that looks like, you know, like this, etc. Um, or I can work with this kind of offer. Maybe somebody's offering $30 off or 15% off or 20% off of the services. And you're like, man, I can do that. You know, I can I can do that. Let's let's frame it the same way and let's run an ad and let's see um, what it does for you. So um, if you can if you go back in here, you can filter by specific competitors um, or you can just kind of um, you can kind of you know do your uh, your search in here uh, and see if there's any other uh, ads that pop up in this space. Power washing is is, is a pretty good one in here. Uh, you can see that this company is running a ton of power washing ads uh, right there. Then you can see some before and after. Uh, what's common in some spaces might not be common in others. So keep in mind of the ad structure. And what I mean by that is the one that we just saw window washing. There were a lot of landing page kind of setups. That means people click on the ad, they go to a landing page. When it comes to power washing, I know for a fact there's going to be a lot of messenger ads. So that's really works well in this space. So keep in mind of the ad structure. You see that messenger right there. Uh, you see that they're they're calling out um, the the person there, uh, uh, the city that they're doing work in, and they're and they're giving the price and they're saying that there's like a special voucher. They're showing some before and after images, that kind of stuff. Messenger ads, right? You can see other messenger ads right here. This is probably a lead ad. Um, and you can you can see that's very common in this space. Okay, uh, so if you're running power washing ads, you can say, okay, well, I'm I'm typically running. You know, ads to a landing page. I'm going to try messenger ads. I'm going to see, you know, what these people are doing. I'm going to look at their offers. Here's another one that's that you see pretty common. Okay, 
uh, power washing services, color text, very simple to use ad, very effective ad, by the way. Um, so this is exactly how I use it. So hopefully this provided a little bit of insight for you guys. If you like the video, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If not, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video.